from our vacation and winding down from trying to get back into the routine it's still the weekend so my week begins at midnight Woohoo! and uh, I just want to conclude we went to Columbia but I accidentally deleted the uh, the video so I was gonna use that one as the end but uh, maybe not it's not the best way to end it maybe Let's talk about a little. I'm gonna go get some coffee, even though I need to go to bed pretty soon. But anyway, this was kind of our COVID Upper Midwest vacation. Oh, I'm so sorry. I mean, the beer flu situation, Upper Midwest vacation. You know, a lot of things are closed. A lot of things were narrowed down. You know, like you couldn't get on things were restricted so that you had to kind of get up pretty early in the morning to get a be able to ride a boat or get on a train or something because they booked up really fast and uh but you know we didn't need to do any of that we just enjoyed getting out and that was really the point was before things start to get really bad again which i think they will um or the second wave is coming before all that happens we wanted to just kind of uh, get away, get away from the work, get away from the routine, get away from ourselves for a little while and try and do it safely and social distance. I checked off a few things on my bucket list, you know, like the Colo Corner and uh, the day the music died and most of the rest of it was, you know, just kind of like for the kids to enjoy and I think they had fun. I think they really enjoyed it. Um, we went to Hannibal, that was fun. We went to St. Louis, that was no fun at all. And Columbia was fine. But, uh, Minneapolis was great. Minneapolis is a much better city than St. Louis by far. St. Louis is very tourist unfriendly. Especially in some of the areas that should, that are the biggest attractions. Nowhere to park, everything's under construction. Every time I go to St. Louis, it's always under construction. The roads are terrible. The uh, there's no parking anywhere, and what parking there is 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 uh, usually eight dollars, and there's not even a person in there. And they have a big sign that says, "Oh, by the way, your car will probably be broken into by the time you get back, so uh, hide all your valuables." And I'm like, "What's the point of even paying any money to park here then? I mean, where's the money going? The parking lot is crap. There's nobody there watching it." Yada yada, kvetch kvetch. I just gotta learn my lesson. I only go to St. Louis when I have to. I don't need to go there for like fun because it is no fun. I go through there on, on Route 66 and that's about it. Um, but everything else was great. And there are a lot of friendly people out there and a lot of people just, you know, bearing with the situation and doing the best they can. I mean, a lot of things were closed up, but then you just, it kind of makes you realize you didn't need those things anyway. And, you know, those, those things that closed up, and they may stay closed. They may never come back. People will be like, well, you know, you go on vacation and they offer you all these little amenities, but all it does is drive up the price. We had just as much fun without them, you know. And to me, vacations are about exploring and enjoying and getting out of yourself and doing things you couldn't do at home. And... Uh, you know, I know where there's swimming pools at home, and if I don't go visit a swimming pool at home, why would I go visit a swimming pool in a campground or at a uh, at a hotel? You know, there's no need for it. So anyway, uh, that's that. We we had a lot of fun. We enjoyed it, and so now I'm gonna relax a little after doing a few errands and go home and get ready for work. Woohoo! Oh boy. Steamer.